Hello everyone and welcome to Train Sim World 2. Tonight we are not in the London Underground as is the usual case when you're in Train Sim World 2, but rather we are in the recently released Chur add-on, which allows you to drive to the Swiss Alps from Arosa to Chur, and this is a route popular among tourists. So today we'll be taking our first look at this line. So just to mention in the interest of transparency, I was given a key by Dovetail Games for this add-on, so many thanks to them. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. Oli, hello, hello, how are you? Good to see you here. Hope all is well. So here is our train. Um, I forget the name of this train now, but they are pretty common a lot um, in Europe. The wagons and as well as the as well as the locomotive, they're pretty much the, the usual holes that take place. Norfolk says, hello, hello, welcome to stream, good to see you here. Now, I quickly did the introduction, so I should know how to start this up. So, first of all, oh no, wait, we put the master switch in. No, not the wheel, not the wheel, we took the master key on. Yeah, so the keybinds are different for this because each train is different. And as you can see here, it has a little steering wheel. Uh, interestingly enough, this steering wheel is like, it's actually the um, thing that controls... The acceleration and the brakes then we put this into forward now we need to put in the lights so put this onto the one and then we put the other stuff into one where was the other one headlight selector two there we go and then we need to put these forwards i've remembered this i did this two minutes ago so lucky luckily i won't forget this uh why are you lucky <laughs> yeah i mean i was surprised i wasn't expecting to get it but you know happy days so that's why we're not doing Yorkshire version 2 today. We'll do that on Saturday instead. I'm good. How are you, Norfolk Buses? Hope you're the same. So, uh, we want this to uh, release. We need to put this to release. And then I think we're all done. Yeah. Loads of brakes. Quite a compli complicated thing. There we go. It's moving. Hey, I haven't forgotten. Turns out if you do it right before the stream, chances are all will go well. Now, knowing me, let let's make sure we don't run any signals. Yeah, quite scenic, all right. So, how is everyone today? You're good, that's good, that's good. Glad to hear Norfolk. I see the Discord hasn't sent a notification yet. Well, we shall wait a few minutes. Hopefully then, it will send it out. They seem to be adding a lot of DLCs to TSW2 because I saw on, I think it's May 4th, there's going to be an announcement. I forget the name of it, but it's going to be something major. I think it's going to be basically the next train sim because I think basically every year they release a new train sim game. And I think it's going to feature three DLCs. So quite a big announcement, something to look forward to. Certainly a rising curiosity. Okay. Yeah, I, I forget the brakes on this aren't the best. They take a while to slow down, so... Yeah. Need to, need to plan this more in advance. Come on, slow down. Two, one, and... Okay, we've slowed down. Now, how do you open the doors? I forget. How do I open the doors? <laughs> Let me figure this out. This I did not cover in the tutorial because uh, I kind of skipped it. Well, basically, I ran a red signal. So, let me just... Click through here and this will tell me eventually which one it is. No, all oh, that's not relevant. Oh, this is irrelevant. Hello, Jeff Rooney, how are you? Good to see you here. Let me just uh, post this into the Discord, so... Good to see you here, how are things? Now, just give me a moment, I'll figure out where the doors are. I will figure it out. Okay. So I can't remember what the key binds for doors are. Let me just do <coughs> let me just do that. Settings. Where are settings? Controls. And let's see what the doors are. Keyboard controls. A nice search. There's no search function, damn it. Okay. Let's see. Will I spot the door? Okay. I apologize about this, but once we get the doors, I'm pretty much good to go. Sam Fisher, I posted a pic of this called help of the help of the B7TL and German working. Any ideas? Okay, I'll need to take a look after the stream ends because I haven't had a time to look at it. I don't think I saw a screenshot. I might have skipped through it. Uh, I'll take a look once the stream ends. But uh, it's probably did you reinstall the B7TL? Because I think you said last time you're having an issue with it. So I'd recommend reinstalling it and then replacing it when you reinstall it. Why does this look like something in the 90s? 
Uh, this is like a tourist line, so I'm guessing it uses like vintage trains. And in a lot of Europe, the trains are quite old, so they're not new. Where are the doors? How do they open the doors in this? So yeah, I think that's why. Uh, this is meant to be like one of the oldest towns in Switzerland, if I read it correctly. I read it this, I read it like this afternoon, and I've already forgotten what it said. Oh wait, maybe, let me check. No, the doors aren't open, so I need to figure out how to open those. No, actually, no. Yeah, wait a minute. Now I figured it out. We don't open the doors because this is the, these are old-fashioned trains, so they open by themselves. Yeah, I uh, not actually controlled by the locomotive. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and most and a lot of these in Europe actually they have similar carriages, but they're the older versions, so they're not as fancy as this. But yeah, I think we're good to go. Forget by uh, forget by patch tune again. Yeah, I know someone said like Lucio. He's a YouTuber. He like. And so he, he puts the 4 gigabyte patch on every time he plays on CT. A bit extra TS to open doors. Okay. Stop at platform 2 north. Okay, I think it's because we're a bit behind, that's why. So let's put it in reverse. Yeah, that's probably why. Yes. Oh, wait, the wrong way. Because it wants us to be 176. Oh. It wants to be 176 meters uh, further back. So let's see what it says then. It might tell us to open the door. Okay. There we go. Sorry about this. You all know I'm not the best train driver out there. Not that our bus driving is uh, something to be much better. But thanks for that. Yeah, T opens the timetable. That's handy. So yeah, that, that will tell us what to do. So back we go. 150. Yeah, we've overshot the platform quite a bit. Luckily, we're still on the platform. Yeah, let's check the reviews of this. They're mixed, so I'm not sure. I haven't really read through them. Usually I do that. We set the Ibis now. This is made by Rivet Games as well. I thought all of them were made by the um, Dovetail, but actually the Dovetail just publishes them and does the advertising. Okay, back we go. There we go, there's the Discord notification. At least we can't hit the curb. Well, you say that. Can you derail trains? I know in t Train Sim... Train Sim 2020 you can derail trains. So, you know. You say that, but actually... Oh, I see. Ah, never mind. Okay, I figured it out. We're going to go the other way. Okay. Continue journey, yeah. My bad, my bad. I saw what the case was. Yeah, we have to go on the other side. So I'm guessing there's a tunnel that does a loop. At least we can't hit the curb. Yes, that's true. That's true. <laughs> there's, there's always a positive. I don't think we're just gonna put this in the introduction again. Welcome to this introduction. No, we're not doing the introduction. So what we're doing is, I'm gonna restart that, but this time we'll pay more attention. So apologies about that. I don't know why it's putting us in the introduction when I selected the uh, timetable service. About 155, Jeff, look at my pick. Ah, there you go. Uh, yeah, about, I remember last stream you were asking where Jeff is. So, I think you missed him. But finally, finally, we're here at the same time. Synchrono, uh, synchrono, synchronous. So, explore, timetable, and then, yeah, and then, yeah, you continue. Sorry about this, we're right on track now. Yeah. It's very bright for 6 o'clock. Like, Sweden's not exactly in the, uh, very no in the very north of the hemisphere. Ah, uh, Sweden, sorry, Switzerland. Yeah, Sweden is in the north of the hemisphere. Okay, begin. Hopefully I haven't forgotten how to start this up. So, no, master key, master key. Forward. Rear lights on. There. Let's, let's try to do proper driving. Release. Uh, release and away we go. Yes, that's more like it. There it is. Is there something? No, so why is it telling us to go back there? That's strange. Yeah, this time we want to make sure not to go too fast. So we'll stay at 14 kilometers an hour because we have to stop soon and the brakes on this are. Not great, to say the least. Yeah, so now we're just maintaining speed. Maybe slowly decelerating.
what's here luft luftseilbahn so that's basically means something like that something about the air luft is air so i, I think seilbahn is something to do with like the winter or with the snow so some some kind of oh 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 we have to stop Yo. Ah, so they have to reverse or something. I'm confused. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. We'll continue anyway. Let's take a look. Let's take a look what the story is. I should have already done the full introduction. Platform to north. Ah, yes, because there's no people on this side. Hmm. This is going well. Let's see what happens if you try to go further down. We'll call the controller. Can I climb up? Yes. Jump up. I don't know why it says climb. It's more of a jump. Okay. In we go. And then... Tab, contact signaler, no route available, contact signaler again. Should work. So I think I missed one of the chats there. Even TS2, you get to play OMC as this thing looks like a wheel. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a wheel. I don't know why it's there. It's kind of confusing because there's no steering, yeah. But it's, you know, it's different. Transport, you go over the points, then change ends. Over the points, then change ends. What do you mean change? Oh, okay. How do I change ends though? I'm confused. You know what? Let's try it the other way around. Because clearly you have to do a reverse here. Maybe the other way around it will be clearly uh, more easier to do. Load last checkpoint. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we should just do the introduction. But then the introduction has the audio over it. No, that's the last checkpoint. Okay, so... Now, slow it down. Oh, yeah, there's no dead man switch on this. Ah, wait. Oh, no, that's for the poster. Okay. Oh, okay, so I have to put the track switch here. I have to put in the signal switch. Get out the car, but other end. Yeah, wait, I am out of the car. Have you done this before? Huh. Ah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, got it. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Lifesaver. Why did you play TSW2? I didn't know you played TSW2 yourself. Yeah, so we're back on track now. Aha, perfecto. Cheers. Now we need to start it up here. Oh, wait, I have, to, I have to turn it off there, though. Wait a minute. I forgot to switch off the train on that side, yeah, because you have to disengage it here, and then you have to engage it on the other end. So, let's switch it all off. Put this back. Put the brake to a... No, this has to be a neutral. Yeah, reverse. Yeah, so I just need to pull everything off. I forgot about that. So, put this on to reverse. Yes, yeah, so you have to look at the red lever. The red lever tells us where it is. This is back. Oh, wait, what did I put? Oh, so, yeah, I don't know why it rests on emergency, but it does. Heat selector. But well, I think by default it's on one. I played here, so I've. Ah, okay. Yeah, they're very similar at the end, aren't they? It's just. What engine is Train Simulator uh, 2020 made on? It's interesting that they chose to use a different engine for. Oh, it's Train Simulator 2021. I'm used to the old name. It's interesting that they use now a. What you may call it? It's interesting that now it's uh, now they use the Unreal Engine for it. So they don't make their own engine for it. Don't know why that's the case. Oh, I have to plug. Yeah, see, I, I forgot to plug out the master key. As you, this is usually a ten-minute job in real life to uh, change ends. Is everything off? Oh yeah, this is not off. This needs to be a neutral. And now, where's the master key? There we go. We should be all good now. 
I think. Let's see. I love the way you can walk through the doors. Master key on. Yep. Okay. Forward. Release. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the lights. There. Two. Don't know what the difference there is. Release. Okay. Away we go. I might just load the suit the other way around because this is not giving us much success. Yeah, the, the question is how you change. Aha, uh -huh, wait, let me stop this. Put the brake, 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 brake. While we can. Okay. Yeah, let's just load, load it the other way around. So, go back to main menu. And then we'll load it back the other way around. So we'll do it from, what's that place called? Ex uh, explore. E time nope nope not scenario timetable and we'll do it ah wait there we had it timetable I'm going from e continue oh I didn't even choose did I choose the route oh wait you choose the route next so we want to go from true to rosa wait is that what we're doing yeah that should help and now we should be all set Get it with us. Yeah, such a funny stream so far, to be honest. <laughs> Just me and you, yeah. It's rather quiet today. Yeah, that's the thing. It's really the opposite. That's why I don't, I don't tend to deviate too much from the UK content. Because whenever it's not UK content, people just don't, uh, don't seem to be too interested. So yeah, well, that's why we kind of stick to the UK content. But sure, it is what it is. Yeah, just me and you. Glad it's uh, entertaining for someone at least. Okay. Service. And away we go. Yes, okay. We should be more successful now. Okay, yeah. So from Chur to Arosa. For some reason it doesn't let me choose to have snow or not. I don't know why. Oh, look at the last wagon. The last la wagon looks different. Always. Yeah, I don't know why. Look, it's like got less windows or something. Strange. Oh, there's an orange signal. We better slow down. Yeah, it looks quite nice, so right. It's sure got the Alps feel. You've got the mountains and everything. Don't know how accurate it is in Switzerland because I've never been here, but yeah. Is this meant to be a mirror? I don't know what that's meant to be. Just imagine if I didn't help you, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, Jeff. In the end, we had to... Whatchamacallit? In the end... Yeah, that's why in the end I just chose to do it the other way around. Because I think I was going to follow forward, then I have to pull in the lever. I have to use the track switch. Yeah, a lot of things about che Train Sim World 2, I don't know yet. But yeah, legend. Indeed. Good thing that Train Simulator 2020 and TSW 2 are... They're pretty much the controls are fairly similar. Oh yes, yeah, okay. I was thinking for a second. Oh no, we're going the wrong way. But yeah, I just realised that's a dead end. So no, it's all good. Why am I driving so slowly? Okay, so there's an orange signal in how many meters? Does that mean I have to stop? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what an orange signal means. What does an orange signal mean? Oh, it means I can pass with caution. So, because like, yeah, it's a strange... Yeah, because like it's a filter, like it can... In real life with cars, it's either a filter light, which means you can pass with caution. It means stop unless it's safe to do so. But I'm guessing it's the first. Oh yeah, there's some buses. Don't they look like Solaris's for a second? I'm not sure what bus is that. Looks like an American bus actually. Looks like the... What do you call those things? The flyers. It kind of feels like a tram. Like the way it stops. It's like, I don't think it's like you're in the, yeah, going through the middle of the city. Wait, we are, yeah. This is basically a tram. 
It's a tram train. Remember you, there's a massive debate on the Discord about tram trains. Here's a tram train. Okay. Unlock doors. How do I unlock the doors? Oh wait, so I do have to unlock the doors. Jeff, tiers to be choose if you go uh, if you're into trains, as you know what to do. But if you get in tiers to be, it can confuse people. Green, double, orange, orange, red. What's green? Do yeah. Ah, okay. Green, double, orange. Ah, so double orange means green, and then single orange means red. Got it. Thank you for that. That is helpful. That that makes more sense. Yeah. Why don't they just do red or green? Be a lot less confusing. But anyway. That's life. How is UK? Oh, how UK signal looks? Yeah, I think they're pretty much the same everywhere. So now let's unlock the doors. I was gonna say something. I completely forgot what I was gonna say. As you do, door is locked. Ah, there we go. So that's door is locked. This must be door is unlocked. Oh yeah, let's try the horn. What's this? Oh, hey, she's not the horn. Doors are these two. Right. There we go. All aboard. Hey. No. I think, yeah, so that's what I was going to say. I think TSW2 is actually a lot easier than Trains uh, Train Simulator 2020. Because I, I think Train Simulator 2020 is like a more accurate simulation experience. People say TSW2 is more like a game. That's probably why I prefer TSW2. Because yeah, I think Train Simulator, I find Train Simulator 2020 is actually more complicated getting going, setting up the IBIS and everything. Yeah, let's let's take a look inside the tram. Uh, tram, the train. It looks like the feet cam is basically like a person. Oh, we can't go inside. Damn. Not meant to be. Let's move back to the default. Uh, where are we? So, gr green, then double orange, red. So, double orange, green, then red. Ah, so it's like a traffic light. So, it goes from green to double orange to red. Makes sense. Yeah, I remember people were saying, like, apparently it's quite complicated to become a, a train driver. There's a massive book they have to reach with all the signals. So, yeah, I mean, like, it's it's a, a lot bigger than the theory test one. But I guess that's why train drivers get paid so much. Well, in, like, I think we, uh, in Ireland they do. Christian Nikolov. Hello. Bravo. How are you? Good to see you here. Can you talk in Bulgarian? Uh... No, not really, no. These are English streams. I can say, I can just say hello in Bulgarian, that's, uh, that's... One is the Reve. But yeah, for, uh, the streams are English, generally. Hello, how are you? Okay, yeah, let's go. We've locked the doors. Why am I still waiting? Nice, we got a green signal just in time. How are you, Christian? Oh, Christian, Christian. Hotel, bank. Restaurant. Yeah, I think I remember you, you were from the Chacha G6AM. Uh, the tram video, yeah. What does that sound like? I hear the clattering. I'm fine. That's good. That's good. Glad to hear. Happy days. No, no. Do you play Train Simulator 2 yourself? Sadly, English. <laughs> yes, uh... That's the thing, like, it'd be nice if in YouTube you can add, like, an audio, like, you know how, like, Netflix and other, like, TV shows, they have, like, you can change the audio language, with, like, you can do, oh, wait, the red signal is in 1.1 kilometers, that scared me for a second, because you can do, like, the voiceover in other languages, but you can only do subtitles, so, yeah. Oh, this is narrow gauge as well. Yeah. I think a tram could actually run, like, that is smart. Look how narrow this is. I'm pretty sure this is, like, a very narrow gauge. Most narrow gauge, tra most narrow gauge trams are a lot, uh, they're wider than that, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's an optical illusion, which also could be the case. Oh, yeah. Pull the F1 back. Uh, so, so what I say maybe do OMSI as it's more popular. Yeah, so we'll do OMSI in the future. Basically, the reason I chose to do this is because I was given a key for it, surprisingly, which I didn't expect. Obviously, I'm happy that it was, and I did want to try it out. But I do appreciate that people are really only in the UK content, because, like, the whenever we do the London Underground, there's, like, a good few people on, but, yeah. I know that LHG content isn't as popular on the channel, but I know there's still, there, there are still some viewers from, like, around mainland Europe and elsewhere who prefer the LHG content, so that's why I post them as well. 
your videos are super good. Glad to hear that, Christian. Uh, good to hear you enjoying them. I say, uh, because someone else also requested, I do the, I'm do. i sure you know about the Icarus 280 trolleybus. I'll have a video of that out next week as well. But yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's kind of balancing them. Most uh, viewers are UK-based, because a lot of the subscribers came from out of London. But then there are, we also have to... Oh, hello. That's the first time I see that emoji. Sure, stat. How long is this line? I don't even know how. I don't even know the distance on this line. There's not a lot of information about it. Ah, okay, these cars you can't see through the window, so they're not as detailed as they usually are in the Unreal Engine 4. It's surprising the bus stream has actually got a fair few viewers, even though that was Berlin. And oh, there's the tram signal. Yeah, those are the signals usually used for trams. Yeah, maybe this is a tram line as well. Unlock the doors. I think it was this one. Well, DGT gave you a key, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, key mailer. So it's yeah, I didn't send him. Yeah, that kind of thing. I think generally, as long as the, like with a lot of like studios, like the indie games, because obviously simulators are kind of a niche thing, although. Train, like Train to World 2 and DDC, are pro you know, they're probably less niche than a lot of the other simulators. Like, I think once the channel's over 1k subscribers, they do tend to, like, be fairly... Like, they, they tend to give keys to a lot of channels as long as they're over 1k subscribers. Load passengers. Well, well I am loading the passengers. That's strange. Why aren't the passengers getting on? It's telling me to load passengers, but they're not getting on. And we're actually... Shoot. We early or late? We are late. Oh wait, the train's moving. Why is the train moving? What the brake, 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 brake. Rest seconds from disaster. What's going on? Oh, I think we're on an incline. Okay, so what's this? Local brake. Yeah, I think I need to put the brake on this. There we go. Yeah, we're on an incline. That's why. <laughs> Well, look, for once we actually figured it out before it went, uh, happened to be a disaster. For once we figured something out before it ends up biting us in the backside. There's a train spotter observing the usual haunt. You in the right spot? Yes, no, the reason was because the train was rolling back, so we're on an incline. So yeah, I have to put the local brake. That's why. Because <laughs> I had the feeling, because when I was in the exterior view, I was like, is it true? Is it just me, or is the train rolling back? I was like, no, nah, I can't, because I've, I've, I've put the brake to 100%. Then I, I see, I was, oh wait, we're slowly moving back. Oh yeah, the brake. The brake is off, the brake is off. Oh, the brake is uh, not in sufficient for an incline. So, now we release this. And you better give full power, it's going to start. Oh yeah, I forgot to lock the doors. Lock the doors. So yeah, there's no brake associated when you open the doors. Untersax line one. Yeah, I guess that might be something to do with charms. It was at this moment, moment he knew. <laughs> yes, exactly. Where's the horn in this? I always like to try out the horns. Yeah, this fe it feels so strange driving a train and having cars like on the same road as you. Because like it just feels like a tram then. So is this a tram train? What is a tram train? I still didn't figure out in the end what is a tram train. But yeah. yeah. I quite, this is why I quite like this, because I do like trams. I like these kind of, like, typical European trains and locomotives and carriages. It's it's different. It's a different experience, because it's not like the usual train lines where you're segregated from the road. Here, you're on it. Explains why it's so narrow, the track. Like, look at the wheelbase. It actually doesn't feel that. It doesn't seem that narrow. It just seems narrow when you're on it. Roblox Sky Chris, cool. I liked your videos. Aha, hello, hello, glad to hear, glad to hear. <laughs> ah, Dab, yes. Back in those days when Dabs were a thing. Are Dabs still a thing? There's still people who use the emoji, to be fair. Oh, look at that bench. Like, you just sit at the bench observing the train go by. Train, train is classed a train. Tram, train is classed a tram. Like, what's the difference between a tram and a train? Because, like, no, a light rail is basically more like they consider them trams, and they're just uh, they're usually trains on like segregated tracks. So you can go to higher. Uh, they're usually trams, 
on Sega the track so they can go high speeds. But yeah, what's the tram chain? Maybe it's like one of those really long trams, like sometimes they could put like two trams together, like two long ones with the articulated sections. Apparently like the longest trams, like Turkey and Dublin have, uh, and Ireland have some of the longest trams in the world. Here we have 55 meter ones. In Turkey I think they're even longer. Yeah, I don't think my depth of field is very good in the settings because things look a bit pixelated further up. Oh, what's happened here? Why is it not telling me what's up with the signal? Better put, we better turn up the speed now because we're on an incline, so yeah. We'll need all the speed we can get. But yeah, it's quite a scenic ride. I can see why this is popular among tourists. You have your hills and lakes. Let's see if we can get a good picture here. Ah, no. Nope. Trying to get a picture with the lake and the sea, but it's not working out. Oh, oh, okay, now we're going too fast. Uh, a tram is... Uh, see, the, the one thing I like about doing train streams is it's a lot easier to read the chat because it requires... Well, technically should require more focus, but it kind of requires less focus when you're driving a bus, especially on, like, Smarden, where... On Smarden, there's a lot of turns here. I can kind of let the train do its own thing, knowing there's a signal in three kilometers. I can technically just look away. It'll be fine. A tram train is a light rail public transport tram vehicle running through the from an urban tramway network to a mainline railway line, which is shared with... Ah, so are the are the London trams a tram train then? Because the London trams, I, they actually, like, they, they terminate in... They terminate along where the train is. I know they're segregated by a fence, but they, they run along the train lines. So is it is the London tram network a tram train? I was actually reading in the new, uh, I was reading a few weeks back, and in London they wanted to have oh driving over the speed limit oh slow it down slow it down. They wanted to extend the trams to Crystal Palace. Shame that never happened. Oh the transport! I'm gonna do a repaint for you. Give me an idea and a repaint idea. Okay, so <laughs> if you wanna do a repaint, uh, let me. If you're happy to do that, no worries, but you know, I don't want to burden you with extra, but let me think. What repaint can you do? I guess you could do, um... Trying to think now. Let me think, give me a moment. I'll get back to you in 20 seconds. I guess a repaint with like an overall overall wrap. Usually those are nice repaints, like you know the ones with like AOAs, a three part wrap. Which yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I can't think. Right now, what's a good one? The bus. Okay, we can speed it up a bit. It's it's very unlikely us to be driving under speed. No clue trust, but yes exactly, that's pretty much I have no clue. Can't think of one. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm thinking about this. Is this better in, when it's winter or like do we prefer like when it's winter or when it's So I think it's like meant to be more scenic when it's snowy. That's why like a lot of screenshots are in the snow, but I'm not really a fan of the snow. Oh, the snow sometimes does make stuff scenic. Which yeah, I think driving in the snow would probably end up like what happened in TSW2, a train would break down. A, a beginner should not go near the rain and the snow, even though if it's a train it might be mislead it might seem misleadingly less risky. And just so we don't hear the rail clocks anymore. But yeah, another thing is, I, I just remember now, a lot of these mountain trains are narrow gauge for some reason. A lot of the trains are kind of go up on high altitudes and are tourist like, they're narrow gauge. I'm not sure why that's the case. Maybe it's because they go on the road to kind of offer more tourist attractions. But yeah, because I know it's somewhere else and they also have that in another, in a, another mountain range. But yeah, this, this, is, this is handling the hill surprisingly well.
Where's the map? If I click M, is that the map? How do I open the map again? Zen no. I don't know if you could do it. Oh, I think it was F something. I don't dare click anything in case it like puts us back to the start, square one. Yeah, not I'm not gonna risk it. We've gone this far. Okay. Why is that red needle? We're going 32 kilometers an hour. That red needle's meant to be on 30. This is confusing me. Unterzax, line one. Yeah, there's the Unreal Engine 4 sky. You can tell this is the Unreal Engine 4 just by the sky. That's, that's one thing about the Unreal Engine 4. The sky looks very two-dimensional. I mean, yes, yeah, granted it has some nice, like, clouds and kind of, you know, nice change of colors. It just feels very two-dimensional. That's just one thing about the Unreal Engine 4. I like this route. It's quite scenic, I've got to say. Driving through the mountain ranges. There's like, out of all the DLCs, a lot of them, like the new one, the American, like what the American Railroad, uh, or, no, it was a British one, it was some sort of freight train, like. I think a lot of people who are into the, tr like, trains in World 2 are more into the passenger trains than the freight trains. Yeah, I myself am not too interested in the freight trains. London Transport. Hi, not really a fan of TSW that much, but I am here. Glad to see you here, tr London Transport 211. Uh, yeah, that's fair enough. I, c I quite like trains in World 2. I'm not a fan of trains in 2021, but yeah, TSW 2 is nice. I like it. But yeah, appreciate it. But you, you have the game yourself. I mean, I, I, I think I, I prefer driving the buses than driving the trains, just because like the buses, you're doing more like really with a train now. It's like an autopilot, autopilot, just moving along. Okay, so we're doing a slight detour. It says 700 meters away, yet we're turning left and into a tunnel. This is feeling like this is feeling like a bit li misleading. Oh, into the darkness. It seems like we're going... F it seems like it's a long, It's a longer than 600 meters, but there you have it. What is the longest route in train simulator 2, I wonder? I think, like, they're all max 30 kilometers, but, like, I know one line's apparently, like, an hour and a half. I was thinking of doing the Aachen line at some point, but I think we'll just stick to... We'll stick to the London Underground. The big boss man, just popping to say hi. Hello, hello. Good to see you here. Are you guessing you're streaming at the moment? I think I saw you streaming Gran Turismo there. I've been here for a bit. Ah, nice, nice. Yeah, I you know you're usually on. But yeah, we'll be back We'll be back to Omsi 2 on Saturday with Yorkshire version 2. Oh, look at that. Steep drop. Yeah, if you have a fear of heights, I'd say this would be a daunting ride. I wonder if people have a fear of heights, like... Display, displaying a flight simulator stimulator fear, although technically it's all virtual. But even still. I guess if you have a severe one, maybe. But been streaming, uh, that... That's why I'm streaming now. Are you streaming now as well? Yeah. Fair, fair. Hey, yeah. You're still streaming. Yeah, see, you do some mad long streams. Fair, fair. Might come back. No worries, no worries. So, yeah. Oh, oh, shoot. Is this where we stop? I didn't realize if to stop here. No, you're joking. Oh, no, never mind. I'm confused. Where's the next station? Okay. This is confusing. <laughs> I've gotten confused here. 30 meters. Is that a station? That can't be a station. No, I think... Eh? Oh, wait, that's telling me the signal. Never mind. I was, I was like, wait a minute. Are we about to stop here? <laughs> <laughs> so I am a noob in case you can't tell. London Transport. I do, uh, I do. yes, I agree. It gets a bit boring once you have hit the speed limit and can't do anything, but on the bus is a different story. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's the same with a flight simulator, really. Like, the flight simulator is like, I always used to fly on manual, but when you put it on autopilot, it's the same. It's just, like, obviously flying is like an experience in itself, but like, once you're on autopilot, you're not really doing much. I guess it's handier for streams because it's easier to actually... Pay attention, because like something, like some apps like Smart, and it's a nightmare trying to stream, like trying to drive, keep up with the chat. But yeah, I, I agree. That's the thing about the buses. Even the trams. See, this is why I kind of prefer trams because trams are this are, are kind of like trains, but since the shot, stop interval is shorter, you actually end up driving more because you like you you're, you accelerate, you barely reach the top speed, and then have to slow down again. Arsenal winning uh, three 0 who are Arsenal playing against? I don't want follow football whatsoever. Uh, 
Ah, uh, here's some rock arm. I guess this is to protect the lion, yeah. Feel, it feels a bit unnatural having this artificial wall along the otherwise natural scenery. But yeah, of course, at the end of the day, there's nothing, there's nothing natural about a train line. Oh, I forgot to put the hashtag in this video. I need to put the hashtag afterwards. What's the story with YouTube hashtags? Anybody use YouTube hashtags? How late are we? Oh, wow. We are very late. We are, we are four minutes behind. We're meant to be at the stop four minutes ago. This ain't good. And we're over the speed limit. Well, we got to make up the time somehow. Yeah, charms are cool. Yeah, exactly. Not, I do plan to stream Tram Sim uh, on the 29th of April when they release the depot. But yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's kind of strange because I much prefer trams over trains because, yeah. Especially old trams. Yeah, the London trams are quite nice. They have the Bombardiers, don't they? It's a shame they're not extending the network because when was the London tram network built? It was fairly recent. It was like, what, 20 years ago? Yeah, and how they had extended like, The plans extended, but unfortunately, the recession of 2008, 2009. Uh, or the global financial crisis, that put an end to that. You are back, me is back. Uh, I, I always love when people use that kind of uh, grammar. Uh, it's, good, it's good to have... No, sorry, I'm trying to think now how to structure this so it's grammatically odd. Uh, see to good that you are back. Ah, uh, Jeff, good to see you back. So I'm just going to speak now, really, though. I can't do this. Oh, if you have to pick one, what is your uh, favorite London bus company? So you ask what my favorite London bus company is, but I honestly don't notice the difference whatsoever between any of them. Uh, like when I, like I'm thinking, I know Go Ahead runs Southern, so I don't know. Like, uh, my favorite, I have to pick one. Like, like literally, it would just be like the most uh, random thing ever. I just like end up picking a random company. But let me think. My favorite company in London. I'm going to try and think now. Is there any company that stood out for me? Like fleet wise Go I'd say maybe well, I'd say go ahead just because they trial the triaxle and they seem to have the most interesting fleet, like they're the bendy buses. Yeah. But then I don't know. Man still here. Good good to see you still here, big boss man. I thought you were streaming though. Mine would be go ahead London. Okay, okay. I'll take Jeff Rooney's word for it. Uh, I'm guessing he knows where the things are at. So if he says that, then I'm happy to go along. Yeah, because they have the triaxles. They seem to try all the buses. And they can have the new electrics now, don't they? So... Oh, let's... Oh, we need to start slowing down, don't we? Nope, not yet. When another choice to speak cool, lol. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, so transport enthusiast is a nerd now. Only thing is that we'd be knowing how to do we'd be a lot better prepared to know a lot more about these trains. Uh -huh, fair enough. Anyway, what's your favorite company? I have a feeling you've said this before, but I've probably forgotten. Yeah, usually when someone asks, you always have to ask back. It's kind of implicit in the question. There's a 2D lake. Oh, we're over speed. What's the maximum I can turn this to? 10? Yeah, okay, so I just wanted to test that, but yeah, we're not going that fast. Oh, 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 we better slow down. 300 meters, yeah. London Transport 211. I is here and favorite company of mine, DBRATP. Yes, you did a lot better job, you did a much better job than me at that. Very interesting, that is, uh, to here, no, that kind of, that, that kind of makes sense. Uh, uh, inside good, given was by you. Yeah, those are the double orange lights, what do they mean? Now, this is one of those situations I'm trying to think, is it going to stop too early or is it going to stop too late? You're, you're like, you don't want to stop too early, but then you don't want to end up Accelerating and then stopping too late. Oops, I exposed transport. Crap. <laughs> exposed transport, yeah. I mean... To do a poll, how many people do think transport is a nerd? This is the question. Which door is my opening? Am I opening the right or the left? I think it's the left. Yeah. 
I think. There we go. First boss. Ah, yes, yeah, so you're the first fan. Yes, that makes sense. Because, yeah, you come there's uh, quite a lot of first. I love the way that loading passengers. What passengers? They're all just standing there blankly. Ah, we're, 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 we're nine minutes later. Like, you know what? I don't have a f good feeling about this. Yeah, that, usually you know that if like if if there's a bus like that comes like ten minutes late, and there's another one like five like five minutes after it, you know that drive is probably going to be slow. And you're better off waiting for the next one because they'll end up overtaking it. There's a there's a life hack. Yeah, it's kind of funny. There's some companies like the, the, some people love them or hate them. First bus still in London though. I heard, I thought first bus are no longer in London. Like. Because people were saying Arriva is never on time, but Arriva is run by Deutsche Bahn, and Deutsche Bahn, I'm sure we all know, have a reputation for being very punctual. Deutsche Bahn being the German, um, the German, what you want to call it? The German state railways company. St. Peter Molon's platform. Okay, wow. We are very late. Okay, you know what? We need to do Need for Speed. Gradient 6%. Oh yeah, so this is another thing, a feature of the add-on. Gradient's up to 6%. I think this is probably like the steepest gradient you get in Trains in World 2. I'm a first. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You know it's gonna be so when it's gonna be like, no, no, first are bad. They're actually here as well, because oh, they have a service called Air Coach, which is basically just an airport express. But yeah, I don't, I don't reckon at the moment it'd be too busy. Considering obviously due to the current climate, there's not many passengers. What's this great thing tell us? I didn't know that was a great thing there. My favorite route number, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say the 210 because I remember the ALX 400s were on it, but uh, to be honest, I don't even know if the 210 was a particularly interesting route. But yeah, I'd, if, I'd say the 210 maybe. But that doesn't have the ALX 400s anymore. What about yourself? Are you asking my favorite number or just like favorite route number? I always say, like, how do people have a favorite number? Very random thing. Arriva never on time is true from having Arriva as local. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's strange because yeah, they're operated by the German State Railways Company, but uh, obviously, like I'd say, because it's also like like uh, punctuality is a cultural thing in Germany, whereas probably in the UK it's not so much. So obviously, I I, I don't reckon Arriva has many German drivers. London Transport 211, every time I try to get a bus in London, wait 15 minutes, two buses come at once. Really? There's one thing I know about London is like, they're very good at like keeping the buses distance because like they, the drivers all drive really slowly, they have their waiting points, like they seem to be, like they seem to be very attentive about evening out the service. Here I've actually seen four buses, there's four of the same buses bunched together, like four of the same bus routes together. Quite well, interesting to see, just see four of the same coming by, you're like, oh wow. And a mixture of tri axles and twin axles, you're like, oh. <laughs> One wonders how does that happen. Transport favorite number, oh, favorite number. Uh, I, I, it used to be 47, I don't really have a favorite number anymore, but yeah. What about yourself, Oli? I think 7 is like the most popular favorite number. I don't know why people like 7 a lot. Maybe it's something to do with football, because like, on some football jersey, jersey 7 is. Oh, we're driving under speed limit. Oh, I don't think so. 7 is a. Uh, Probably a number of like certain players. Jeffrey, your favorite number is 711 as one of our solos has the fleet number. Yes, yeah, so usually that's the thing. The, the number usually is associated with something. 711. Uh, 711. Is that the solo you're gonna buy, Jeff? Yeah, once he, uh, once it goes to retire, you're gonna buy it. Yep. Yeah. What's everyone's least favorite number? Do people have a least favorite number? That's another question. Kind of looks strange there for a second the way the colors emerge. London Chelsea 211, one of your local routes is an infrequent 74 buses an hour, so I always wait ages. Ah, I mean, it's, it's, 
It's kind of weird because like I think because in, yeah, in London the bus services are very frequent. So like when you say four buses an hour, that means like they're every fifteen minutes, doesn't it? Here, like most of the bus routes are uh, every fifteen minutes. So like it's it's kind of strange because here fifty every fifteen minutes would be considered frequent, whereas in London it's infrequent. Which I, I think like the like just think now I think the most frequent service like all day is eight every eight minutes. But yeah, like I know some of it's like five, every five minutes at peaks, but yeah, it's really every eight minutes. There's a lot of your duties here, which are basically uh, extra workings on routes that are not on a timetable, officially. When you have money, yeah, yeah, it's the 190. Where does that go? I, I don't know, I've never heard of the 190. But yeah, I guess four bus an hour is still better than one bus an hour, but yeah. I say that, like, are they. Yeah, if they're not, what company operates it? Uh, it? It doesn't sound it's very punctual by the sounds of it. It doesn't sound like it's very punctual. Ah, uh, someone's been logging the trees for a shame. Jeff, uh, my worst number is any number starting with 404 ADC are <laughs> street lights of that lead number. Ah, uh, yes, makes sense. Yeah, the biggest insult to injury would be when the street light replaces the solo. Actually, the, I'm guessing some of the street lights may, may have replaced solos. Because I think you did say, didn't you say, yeah, I think you, I remember you saying some of the solos got withdrawn. Yeah, I love it's 6 o'clock in the morning, the sun's already so high up. Yeah, I guess you do have to monitor the speed. It's a lot of like about trains and flights, it's all about speed monitoring. Yeah, if I just had uh, cruise control. <laughs> Richmond to West Brompton, operated by Metroline. Oh, I, 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 Richmond. I've heard of Richmond. Richmond. Yeah, is that like a North London, if I'm not mistaken? Oh yeah, the two tennis operated by Metroline, isn't it? Just remembered. Yeah, they were some. They were one of like the last uh, bus companies to keep the ALX 400s alive. They're still soldiering on here in Dublin, actually, but not for long, probably. Oh, ooh. oh, that was close. Oh, good. You see, this is the thing. We all, we almost, uh, we almost passed the red signal. Oh, that was, that was a close one. Double orange. Yep, there we go. As jet. What? Oh, wow. That was, that was scary. <laughs> Just jumps up out of nowhere for a second. Yeah, better be careful here. Now you got them the same time, 2005 ish. Ah, okay, so you, they got some new bus and they, and they got some old buses. But why is this signal red for me? Because I see that train probably wants to pass by. This must be a fairly frequent train service. Oh, yeah, I need to put the local brake. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. What is going on? Why is my train going backwards? What is going on? Okay, okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Emergency break, emergency break. Yeah, oh no, we have, oh, uh oh, yeah, okay, okay, I think this is the end. Oh no, the emergency break is working, yeah. Oh my god, this is a disaster. Okay, I, I need a breather after that, I need a breather. Oh my god. That was, that was something. Right. Oh dear. It's West London. Have you ever been on NX route? I've never even heard of the NX route. Where does it go? Is that an express route? Is that like a night express route? Ma yeah, imagine actually. That's one thing I just realized. There's no such thing as night express routes, is there? Anywhere. Maybe there is somewhere. Now we got them at the same time. Okay. That poxy. Oh, now it's a green signal. Lovely. Okay. 
We're back on track. All is not lost. We just, well, apart from time. <laughs> all is not lost. Well, actually, all is not lost. Something is lost. It's implies, yeah, never mind. Yeah, so we lost the time. Well, uh, well I'm getting, going with some drivers tomorrow and a couple services we have solo. Ah, nice. Ah, so Joe's just going to drive you around. Oh, you must be very friendly with the drivers. It must be a fairly friendly bunch there. What has transport done? Like, are they using the solos, actually? Because like, unless they were, like, social distancing, like, there probably isn't, like, very high capacity in the solo. What is it, like, five people? Yeah. Oh, no, there's still a red signal there. Nation Express, which, yeah. i got to be careful here. Inclines. Ah, the NX in Dublin. Ah, have you been to L uh, Dublin Transport 211? Uh, I, the NX, I haven't... I don't know what uh, route NX is in Dublin. I haven't heard of it. I'm guessing it's the one operated by First NX. Yeah, no. Where, where does it operate? I need to look it up. First time I hear about the NX. They operate... They operate buses in West Midlands and coaches all around England. Oh, National Express! Ah, yes, National Express actually started up here. They started up uh, Airport Express. Uh, but it wasn't very successful because basically they started just before the lockdowns began. So, yeah. Okay, contact controller. Why is my signal red? Oh, wait a minute. I can drive here. The, the red signal is in 214 meters. What am I doing? Never mind. Uh, oh, your services have been dead. What? What's this mean? Why is it stopped? What is going on? Is it, is it, has our train broken down? I think so. What does that what does that mean? What does this red exclamation mark at the bottom mean? What what do you try to tell me train somewhere or two? Oh, there's the horn. The horn is a space bar. Don't squeak. Yeah, it's like a car. They can just press the horn on top of the wheel. Okay. Okay. Release. Yeah, okay. I don't know what's going on now. This ain't moving. Transport 211, your family actually live in Ireland. It goes from Dublin to Navin using VDL. Ah, it's a bus 7 route. Ah, yes, no, I, I don't really travel outside of Dublin. So, yeah, that makes sense. But no, I've not... Yeah, actually, now, now I remember. Yeah, I've, I, think I've, I think I've seen it before. Yeah, yeah. The VDL, those are the double-deckers. Makes sense. I don't know what's happened. Is our train just broken down? What is this? I think what we just have to do is load the last checkpoint. How did I load last checkpoint? Oh yeah, let's take a look on the map. Where are we? Oh wow, we're not even... Are we even halfway? How did I load last checkpoint on this? Yeah, if someone could tell me how to load... Pass red signal. Usually if I pass red signal, it cancels. I don't know what's the story. It's a red signal for them, but for us, it's just... Go through, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how I can unlock the doors tab. Yeah, I'm just going to need to figure out how to uh, load the last checkpoint. Okay. Let's do restart. No, I don't want to restart from the start, though. So, what do I do? Okay, I think what we're going to try to do, first of all, uh, we're going to do a cold start. And let's see if that works. Have you been on the NX yourself? Actually, London Transport 211. The VDL coaches are quite uh, nice, the double deckers. Reverse to neutral. Oh, it's not letting me take the key out. 
Press tab. Yeah, that's what this tab do. Contact signaler. That's just the doors. Yeah, I think I need to... Let's see. Uh, restart. Now. Yeah, that's 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 the plan. Uh, cold start. But yeah, I think this is uh, this is the same situation as with uh, when we did the London Underground. Warning lights are fine. Oh yeah, we probably need to put the warning lights. Let's see what those do. Are they flashing lights? So those are called hazard lights, not really warning lights. Now that I think of it. Let's put the zero. Yes, so... Oh, what's this? Oh, you can't click it. Okay. Headlight selector. One, which is off. Strangely enough, not zero. And then... Oh, yeah, that's why. I need to put this into... Neutral. This is an emergency. This is in full service. Oh, that's why the wheel has to be neutral. There we go. Off. Don't give me zero percent. Give me off. There we go. And now, ta-da! Switch it off. Give it a few seconds. Uh, lunch for the SAPOS goes to where your uh, family. Is. The coaches are so comfy. Yeah, they're really nice. Even the new coaches they've got, I haven't been on there, but like, just from seeing the outside, like the inside seems very nice and seeing pictures on they look very stylish. Yeah, I really like, the double deck ones are really nice, especially on the topper deck. How much was this DLC? I think this DLC costs 30 euro, I think. I'm not, I think all DLCs for TSW2 are the same price, the 30 euro. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, this, this, is, this, this route's really more for advanced players. Okay, we we gotta restart. So, restart. Why uh, map? It must have a little, it must be an option to. Oh wait, reset the player. What does this do? Uh, okay, settings. Next signal aspect. Oh, maybe I can like remove some of the signals. Oh, message log. Let's see if something's telling us something here. Nope, no indication was wrong. Oh, look at that speed. There's a speed. We've been below the speed limit quite a bit. Okay, yeah, we have to restart. Yep, what can you do? Actually, I think what we can do a cheat, so I'll just load at that station there. Yeah, I think we'll. All is not lost. Yeah, okay, we're not doing we're not starting from the start again, no thank you. Let's go to main menu and then we'll just load in from the station we uh got stuck at. Explore Timetable. Let's see. Uh E continue. Now a roster sure sure where do we start from? We wanna go from like run around to Arossa, don't we? Okay. This is why I stick to obviously, yes. Although with obviously too, there's a lot of getting stuck. I'm going to drive Stratcher. I watch in the back on what bus should I drive? Stratcher, I think it's like the street lights very suited to Stratcher because you can't really get up to speed. Uh so yeah, I'd, I'd say probably like Let me see the street light. I guess a gentry pack the gentry is also a good choice. But like I don't think the I don't think the the passenger loads justify it. Timber log delivery. Okay, I think this is what we'll do. We'll do timber log delivery. Operate the freight service, which consists of load timber wagons from uh them. To... Yeah. Arossa northbound. 
Oh no, actually no, don't do a scenario. Yes, okay, it's Jeff agrees with me. Explore on foot. Now then start at... What's this station called? No, not a Rosa station. It was something with an S. I think it was... Church Chat. San Depo. Cherview. Unterzax. Luen. St. Peter's. It's Pi Station, Langvai Station. Oh, where were we? I think it must have been Untersax. Yeah, okay. Let's see if this works. Uh, I didn't buy it because it's rubbish. Ah, fair, fair, yeah. Uh, probably wise. I, d I don't know why they decided to make the street light because it's like. Oh, this was a station. Okay, is there a train we can hijack? When's the next train? Okay, I'm just gonna do a scenario, yeah. But I have a 400 MC and MSG. Okay, just entry pack then, fair. Yeah, 400 MC, you, you won't get the most out of it on Stratcher. Okay, Bendy. Oh, maybe Satara, yeah. But Voy. So, let's do Explore. Timetable. No. Oh, well. Oh. We'll do it the opposite way around. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do from Arosa to Chur. And then we'll stop at the station we got to. Yeah, Bendy for a challenge. Yeah, if you want a real challenge, do the Bendy on the 69. Good luck. Ah, lovely. It's, it's loaded us in the right direction. Okay, perfect. So... Let's just start her up. We don't have to do any of that crap of, uh, you know, reversing the locomotive, all that realism that's a bit beyond our capabilities. Uh, okay, this has a mind of its own. There we go. I have a feeling Tramson was uh, inspired from this because it's the same interface, even though obviously it's the Unreal Engine. Uh, unlock the doors. All aboard. And then switch. No. He's on. Okay. Let us know how you get on. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the last carriage. The last carriage intrigues me. Oh yeah, I can't do that here. Because it... Oh no! Oh, it doesn't have the unique carriage this time. There's a lot of people on board already. The UK Sitar has a limiter. It's very easy to remove the speed limiter though. Very easy. I haven't found how to do it actually. But yeah, it's really annoying. I don't, I'm not sure if it's a limit or if that's just the top speed because I, I don't think the Zatara is very fast in general. Like apparently the Man ST202 and OMSI2 is the top speed is just 78 kilometers an hour. I don't know why it's so slow. Do you think the older buses would be faster? Wait until 8.51.40. Okay, we have 20 seconds. Okay, perfect. Let's try one on time. So we, we got a speed, speed. Ah, welcome back about 155. Hello. And away we go. Oh, there's a red signal. Green signal, perfect. I was thinking for seconds there are indicators, but I don't think there is any indicators. Perfect. Just as I look back at the screen, we're at the right speed. So yeah, what are people's thoughts on DLC, this DLC? Just I'm looking at it. Oh, what has happened? Why is it accelerating so much? That's strange. Oh, we're downhill. That's why. Yeah, we have to be careful with the speeds. Uh, I better put this on YouTube. Oh yeah, I have to apply brake. Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is a challenge, all right. So towers are beast IRL when they are void. Well, what's what, what's wrong with the ZF ones? Yeah, people seem to. I don't know. Some people seem to be, uh, be, uh, think uh, say void is better. Some people say ZF is better. Ah, there's that weird card. Just at the start.
Okay, now we've got a too much break. We're on the wrong side of the road. In Switzerland, they drive on the left, don't they? Oh, that's why, because that's, ju that's just ed ed that's a dead end. That's probably where they parked the trains. I don't know where the depot is. Oh, sand depot, so we must have passed the depot. We didn't know. That's it. Oh, that's probably where they had the two lines that branch out and end. To be honest, the towers are bad buses. I, I, I'm not a fan of them, but... Like, in the UK, I haven't even seen many of them. I know they have them as single deck, because they, the, uh, they have the... Are they still in service, actually? I'm not even sure I'm driving this properly. Am I just meant to apply the brake when we're going down this? It doesn't seem very healthy, because it's causing a lot of friction. You probably, I'm surprised they don't squeak. Where's the squeaking sound? Are you, are you expecting to be hearing this... Like, you know, that squeak when it slows down. Shame it's not there. Litsiruti Platform 1. 9 o'clock. Okay, we have 6 minutes. There's an electric bo uh, box. That horn. Classic. Half hour fleet of Sitaras. Oh, wow. It must explain why you never talk about them. So, like, I'm guessing you prefer the streetlights or the Sitaras because, like, you never even mentioned the Sitaras if they're half your fleet. Are they, like, ex London Sitaras? Because I've never really seen any Sitaras in, uh, in England at all. I haven't even been much in England apart from, like, London, though, to be fair. 18, oh, you got 18 Satara, so, oh, you've got a fleet of 36, must be a fairly small operation. I don't even know what these, like, exclamation marks mean. They're very confusing. Oh, it's disappeared now. That's, that's all the same amount of Satara's are in London, to be fair. I love that there's a dirt road, but like, how would you get over this? You'd have to go over the tracks, yeah. Probably not a very much, not a very used one. Okay, it looks like it might be uh, running early for us. Yeah, I think sometimes when it's merging, we have to press the signal just in case. No signal for two kilometers. Let's go. Now, nah, X Oxford. Ah, okay. Well, at least you got some new buses with the streetlights, I guess. Although, no, the streetlights are probably. I know a lot of people would like buses before the old buses anyway. Okay. This is actually kind of relaxing. I don't even have to do anything. Don't even have to adjust the brake. I've turned this off for, for a few minutes. It's a bit annoying. The overlays. I wonder where Brubbon is today, actually. He's usually here. Oxford is a sister company. Ah, that makes sense. So basically, you just get put, like, most of their, like, buses they no longer need. So, what could we, wait, what could we say operates with you again? Was, wasn't the first, was it? I think you said a review. You said, like, earlier, earlier in the stream. Damn. How did I forget this? Yeah, let's take a look at the first carriage. Why does this first carriage look different? Ah, is this like first class? This is just for bicycles. 
thought that was about signal. What's this? Is this a kitchen? Yeah, there's your first class. Okay, I, I, I better get back to the cab. There we go. This feels a lot more secure. We have two minutes to go. Wow, even with the overspeed. Yeah, these timetables are tighter than the ones on MC2. 300 meters away. It looks much further than that. We've got the brake on, so like this is an even service. I don't even have to do anything. It should just stop by itself. Imagine... HTP, ah, Carousel, Carousel, okay. Yeah, I'm guessing that must be a sister company of some uh, bigger company. Shane, there's many family run bus companies. I will DM you the link of the site. Coolio, Coolio, yes. One step ahead of me. You know me too well, eh? Ah, there's a train waiting. Luckily, I haven't held them up. Oh, oh gee. I thought for a second I'd do this track. I was like, oh wow. We're heading into collision course. Uh, same passenger. It's supposed to be our twin. This is a, a service operated by twins. The base is 100%. Yeah, you see, perfect. It just kind of slows down by itself. This is this is looking giving me anxiety because this is this is stressful because I'm trying to calculate will this slow down will this not? It's good fun. It's good fun. It's definitely, I'd say if you're like a TSTW like uh, pro, this will definitely be a nice challenge. This is the thing. I, I, I'm joining this with a break. There we go. Use the local brake. Yeah, it says we rarely use the local brake, but then I kind of skipped it and said what we use it for. I think it's for the inclines. Yeah, look at this. Let's look at this nice Swiss village. Wunderschön. Es ist wunderschön. It is wonderful. Yes, I think this is probably an hour long. If one doesn't mess it up. All aboard. Just realize the, the train horns are used a lot in some parts of the world, not others. Lock the doors. What's this two thing? It looks like an OMC2 button. Already funk. Oh yeah, we don't got much time to hang about. We're meant to leave. Oh, I still have the... I was wondering why it's not moving. I have this on. And it's still got the brake on. What's up? Why is this not moving? Oh, it's not released. What is going on with this? This has a mind of its own. The train does not want to move. Is there other pilot? I don't think so. This looks like a fairly old... Well, this looks fairly old. Like, it seems fairly modern cockpit, but, like... I have a feeling like this wheel thing is, like, an old design. But, no, there's no autopilot. So, yeah. Like, I say a lot of the time, not, like, autonomous trains just run by themselves. Oh, I'm going to send you a surprise. Ah, nice. I'm, I have a feeling I know what this is. So... If it's a repaint, it'll probably, it'll probably have to be featured in next week's stream because uh, on Saturday I'm doing BCS, so I don't get to choose the livey in BCS, unfortunately. It's dictated by BCS. Oh, I better slow down. London Bus is 42. Hello, how are you? Good to see you here. Definitely don't sound dodgy. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's true, that's true. Yeah, we'll have to write a little steam review for this afterwards. Give it a little thumbs up. What are the AI cars? I guess like these village roads rarely have AI cars, but nice to see just a solo lone AI car driving by.
three minutes. Three minutes to travel, 1.8 kilometers. Wow, this is one slow train. I'm good, how are you with London Buses 42? Hope you're the same. Hope all is good with you. Thirty-six to hour. Oh wait, I'm six kilometers over the speed limit. Yeah, see, this is the thing I find confusing. The needle show like the needle's above the speed limit, so I don't know if it's on the trains. Like on cars, uh, it tells you it tells you doing the speed ten percent higher than what you actually are doing. I'm not sure if they do the same with trains because obviously trains are usually public carriage vehicles, so uh, most drivers will be more responsible because car drivers tend to be less responsible. Uh, I, like compared to other like other drivers, that is not to be making a generalization there. One buses. Ah, you are N68 to Tottenham Court Road. So is that Scrap LT? Is just Scrap LTs then? Why, why do people have to change the name all the time? This gets too confusing. I have to keep up with all this. London Transport 211. Surprisingly, I didn't the curb around the hospital in the bendy bus. Uh, I didn't get insults uh, apart from an age old take from London. Ah, yes, that one. That one's a cheeky one, yeah. Well, uh, it means just because I floored it through the hospital entrance. Oh, wow. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Actually, that reminds me when I used to play stretching with the bendy bus. I'd be going very fast, and then I'd try to turn with the speed, and the thing would just fall into the forest, flooring it. But yeah. I know that I'm probably going to add in, like, NPC sounds to the bus, so look forward to hear I mean, what they might say. I don't know if you play... Do you play the bus yourself, London uh, 211? Yes, yeah, so you are Scrap LTs. Look, I remember, I remember. I think this is probably the most scenic part of the... Look at that. Uh, what do they call these things? Not a viaduct. Was it a viaduct? Looks very scenic. This might be a screen sh thumbnail screenshot. Look at it. Lol. Yeah, lol. Yeah, scrap the name changes. That's what it should be. So how can we change your name again? I'm guessing the N6 is your favorite route. Okay, we better apply more braking. At the end, we'll also explore the train. We'll explore the carriages there. Okay. We'll try to find a good angle here. I'm not sure I like this angle. Oh, we're going very slow. Let me let me speed it up. Oh yeah, because it's uh, now we're no longer on a decline. Okay. Oh, we can't see the river though. No. Let's just get some screenshots. <laughs> don't mind me, don't mind me. <laughs> okay, now, where was we? I was gonna keep on trolling, ah, fair. Let's see if I can figure out a few scrap LTs. Because, like, apparently, like, L L London MC did it, actually. It's, it, it was only when Brendan noticed on the Discord that it was them, not on the YouTube. So, like, they kind of went under the radar, radar for a bit. But since I'm TOK, uh, kind of not. I don't know what uh, TOK means. <laughs> I won't. Fair. 211, I will get it once it's fully released and has better physics. Yeah, I, I don't know if they're gonna... I don't know how much more they're gonna improve the physics, to be quite honest. Because I don't really mention much about the physics, but yeah, hopefully they do. want to keep it OG here. <laughs> IS the OGs. I've seen it many times. Keep it PG. Ah, that's what he meant to say. Okay, so I'm guessing that's not uh, PG. Okay, I have no idea what that means, so I apologize for reading it out. There we go. I don't find it strange when they say the local make full service, because I think that just means, like, running. Oh, look at that nice daffodil. Is that a daffodil? All these stations look the same, though. Like, they all have that same kind of wooden vibe. But actually, now I remember when City Skyline is one of the mods for Swedish, Swiss station look like that. Lone Buster 211, and he's driven past my house many times. 
Yeah, he, he didn't want to tell us where your house is now. I think I remember you saying it was somewhere near Brixton, but I, I forgot. So luckily, that's private information. The less people that know it, the better. If you ask me. Right, I, I love the way we were running over speed and yet we're still somehow two minutes late. Yeah, these timetables, good luck trying to keep them out, uh, trying to keep up with them. And away we go. Who knows which destination is on the bus on my profile picture? Oh, I have no clue, I'm not even going to bother guessing. Wait, 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 Tottenham Court Road? Like, have a guess? As I said, I'm not going to bother guessing, I'm just go to guess. Oh, you transfer. Jeff said he uh, he has the word as we want to keep it PG here for subscribers on 13 watching. So, ah, okay, fair, fair. Yeah, sorry, because I I because I, I didn't think I saw anything that needed censoring, but I, I might have just skipped it. So apologies. Ah, okay. Where was we? Ah, right. Yes, yes. The street light. Yeah. I see, I see what you mean. Yeah, probably. Yeah, better if you do that. Censor it. I know it's a bit of a, a nuisance, but YouTube kind of prefers it if that's done. Yeah, so I don't think you can do well in TSW2 and not watch. Keep it family friendly. Yeah, we really what that means is advertiser friendly. <laughs> Just in case under 13 watches. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Yeah, good call, Ollie. Thanks for that. So. Uh, I don't even think of that because like when, it, when it's merged with a word that's kind of means more of something else. Gotta goes under the radar a bit. Maybe I should have done this in the snow. Give it more of an Alps vibe. Here is a clue. Nope, not Tottenham Court Road. Okay, I give up. Someone else having a guess. It'd be better at this than me. Give me okay, what's the clue? Well, so I get out of jail for free card. It is a destination for it. Oh, I did AI route 42. Uh, yeah, I can't remember where it terminates. I think double decker Anton said he was a 40. Was that the 35? Ah, we're in the six percent decline. I'm just trying to think, how far do we get when we're going the other way around? Okay. So, you're allowed to overspeed by 33% before it considers it like serious overspeeding. It won't be at the station now. Oh, and we have a kilometer to go. Okay, well, speeding it is. We have no choice. More like monetization friendly, yes, exactly. So that, that's what advertiser friendly means. Uh, to be honest, I'm pretty, like, I think as long as, like, well, according to their guidelines, which obviously can change at any point, as long as they are, as there's no cursing in the first 30 seconds of the video, and there's no curse words in the thumbnail, it's actually fine. Uh, but yeah, just, it's just, it's just, a lot of YouTubers just tend to, a lot of kind of, like, sim YouTubers who obviously don't play content that kind of use a lot of vulgar language, just tend to kind of, Power of hearts, you have no cursing whatsoever anyway. Transport, if you did it snow, you would be slipping. Yes, good point. Never mind. It's a curtailment. Anton sometimes drives 42. Yeah, because I remember he commented on the AI video. And he was saying that, oh yeah, it's interesting to see a route he drives in real life. But yeah, I, I can't remember where the 42 goes. Oh, we, how long have we been streaming for? An hour and a half? Yeah. Give to uh, give it to take two minutes. The terminus is Clerkenwell. Okay, I don't remember that terminus. Maybe I never looked up what the 42 goes in real life. I do for sometimes for description. But these guys are on the most useless. Ah, yes, you were saying that like some bus route was useless. Is that the 40? Why is this train not accelerating?
Yeah, this train has a mind of its own. What can you even do with these AP points? It seems a bit like a gimmick, to be honest. Is this timetable actually, like, possible to keep up with? Because... I don't think it is. Ah, there's the electricity wires. There are the electricity wires. But yeah, yeah, well, it has to be getting the electricity from somewhere, these, uh, this electrified line. Driving significantly over the speed limit. I thought significantly this when we're in the red, but maybe not. Ah, yes, it is the 40. Yes, I remember. Ah, so is that the route he usually drives? Yeah, we're gonna break this train soon. We are gonna break it soon. Yeah, that stranger is not gonna be happy, so we better not honk at him. He'll be honking at us, it's like... You are three minutes late, we have cost him three minutes of his life. Every bus company in the UK has a useless bus route. I mean, every, every I think every bus company in general has just a useless bus route. Sorry about that there. Pretty sure this is... Pretty sure we got here, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. I think this is as far as we got when we were going the other way around. Yes, this is where we got, so... Yeah. This is, this is, this is where we ended up getting stuck, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll end the stream here because I, I, I don't want to be doing the same thing uh, twice. Oh, loco. Yeah, I don't want to be doing the same route twice. Oh, signal failure. Yeah, well, anyway, that was the route. So, yeah. Oh, load last checkpoint. Just, uh, the only reason I'm loading the last checkpoint is I just want to check the cabs, but uh, we're going to leave it there. We've done the full route. There it is. I think it takes about an hour when you do it properly. Here's the last checkpoint. But yeah, this is, what, this is where we got stuck. So, now we're just going to explore the train, just see all the bits that it has, like the cab, and then that will be that. If you want to do TS2, GW, GW, GWE, uh, one train can go one to five miles per hour. Is that the Cologne? Is that the line to Cologne? The Cologne? Um, yeah, is that the one? I think that's the one that comes with the collector's edition. Because it was on CD keys. I was going to get it, but I didn't in the end. Probably still can. But yeah, I think we're sticking to the UK content. The other one doesn't seem to be vastly popular. What's the point of this? Is this just for bicycles? Well, look at the... Seems a bit pointless. Close it up. Okay, I can't close that. Not my problem. Oh, there we go. Let's see the first class. I think this is first class. Or not. Is this first class? Oh, no. This is like a... Oh, this is where the inspector sits. This is where the conductor uh, sits. I think. Close it up. There we go. Oh, yeah. Here's... You open the... Oh, you can't open the bathroom door. I think you can in some games. Uh, in some trains, but not in this one. They didn't bother adding it in. Hello. We're on social media. At Rivet Games. Ah, that's a cheeky plug. Each one has a bathroom. So, yeah. They all look the same. So, yeah. This is it. There we go. This is the Arusa DLC. Check the ends. Will do, will do. Uh, once the stream ends, which should be in two minutes. The UK is Great Western Express. Ah, okay, okay, fair. That makes sense. Yeah, I'd say that one will be popular, but to be honest... I ah, do you want to give up to control? Yes, let's see what happens then. Um, but yeah, whatchamacallit. But... Uh, the way she goes. Uh, but yeah, I, ju I just... I don't see myself paying 20 quid because... I think it's like they say an hour, uh, one euro should equate to one hour of game time. 
So uh, I don't see myself playing that for 30 hours to be worth the investment. Oh, look, you can see through the windows. It's just a bit too tinted to see from far distance. Could have been a postage freight car. Yeah, it had a bicycle symbol, so I was thinking... Ah, that's probably what it's for, because probably a lot of people go cycling or, like, skiing. So it's probably just to keep all the skiing and uh, cy cy uh, bicycles. Yeah, that's what it is for, yeah. So something along those lines. Makes sense. A Rosa route map. But yeah, folks, here we are at Langvis. I think Langvis means platform, by the way. No, Lang is long. Vis, long platform? Is that what the platform was? I can't remember. But yeah, look at the track levels, like, at the same level as the platform. It's... Slightly makes ones feel slightly uneasy. But anyway, folks, that is that. The next stream will be on Saturday. We'll be doing Yorkshire version 2 with OMC2 BCS, because as you all know, Yorkshire version 3 is scheduled for a third quarter release. Thank you uh, all for watching. I, at this time, I probably know what most of you here. So, London Buses are 42, also known as Scrap LT or N68 at Tottenham Court Road, but now London Buses 42. Is that your favorite bus route to 42 or something? Ollie. La, London Transport 211 the Big Boss Man who's here at some point I know he's streaming as well And Jeff Rooney uh, Thank you all That is it for now Until next time Bye for now